So a couple of weeks ago we tested the MSI G2412 and the results were surprisingly good. There was basically no competition for that monitor around the $100 price range. The problem is, for some reason, it is incredibly hard to come across that monitor lately for the price it used to be. It is around $240 new and $130 used on Amazon, which is of course not a good deal. Fortunately, there is another strong contender for the number one budget monitor titled the Gigabyte G24F2. And that's the monitor we're going to be reviewing today to tell you if this is your best alternative right now. The Gigabyte G24F2 is 23.8 inches across, equipped with a 1080p resolution. That combination is decent for the PPI. Sure, if you sit too close to the screen, you'll still be able to spot some pixels, but under normal circumstances that won't happen. Now, if you aim to do some multitasking as well, 24 inches might be too low, and maybe a 27 inch like the Dell S2721HS will suit you better. Gigabyte has a vast lineup of monitors with vibrant colors, and this was another addition to that list. It covers over 100% of the sRGB color space and around 95% of the DCI-P3. On top of that, it also has a slightly higher contrast than other IPS panels, with 1101 instead of 1001. On the other hand, the color depth is only 8-bit, so don't expect the gradients to be as smooth. In comparison, the MSI G2412 falls way behind this one, delivering out-of-the-box colors that could even be labeled as washed out. You can get around that with some tweaking, though. Now, one thing the G2412 can't compensate for, no matter what, is its low brightness ratio. The Gigabyte G24F2 has around 350 nits and slightly exceeds 400 when you turn on HDR. Meanwhile, the G2412 struggles to keep up in bright rooms with its meager 250 nits. When it comes to HDR though, the G24F2 has nothing to brag about. The brightness improvement when you turn that feature on barely reaches 400 nits, which is the bare minimum to see any difference with HDR on and off. To be fair, it is already hard enough to find a screen under $200 with the HDR feature, much less a monitor with decent HDR performance under that price range. For the gamers out there, this monitor also performs among the top ones in terms of response time. With its 1 MSMPRT, you're going to have a hard time seeing trailing behind objects during your gameplay. You can still notice them if you focus enough, but even so, they aren't solid enough to be distracting. The G2412 performs slightly better in this aspect, with even less trailing, but both are pretty much neck and neck during normal daily use. So in the end, when you think about it, this monitor has pretty much everything we could ask for. It has colors, speed, and more importantly, a budget-friendly price. To our surprise, it gives all of that and is even better than the G2412 in some areas. You can check its prices in the description. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for our next videos.